Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm using Planners Anonymous Milk Bar in my planner this week. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so as you can see, I have a lot going on this week already. So I'm just gonna take off all of my little post-it notes and we'll put them, put them over here. Uh, I am going to be using the absolutely gorgeous um, Milk Bar Kit from Planners Anonymous. But I want to add some ink to this. I want to. I want it to be really. I love the colours. I love the mint. I love the pink. And it's got a little bit of yellow in here. So I'm sort of taking it from here, and then I'm taking this blue. So basically, what I've done is I've gone around and matched. I'm a little worried that pink raspberry is going to be a little bit too bright. So I'm just bringing this back in for a second. So I've got picked. Hold on. Let's let's get this done first. So what have I got here? sugar, warm lipstick, peach flamingo, peach raspberry. Okay. Yeah, no, peach raspberry is going to be too bright, I think. So that's peach flamingo. I may pull it back to... It's too red. Um, maybe sponge sugar. Maybe we pull it back even further. But I think peach flamingo is somewhere in the middle. We'll go kitsch. We'll go kitsch flamingo. So we've got kitsch flamingo, cracked pistachio, which is going to be this green colour. I'll grab the, the colour swatch so you guys can see. Cracked pistachio, squeezed lemonade, which actually might be a little bit too bright, but I'm just going to have another look. These are why I love these swatches, because I can pull, put them up against things and see what they look like. So that's squeezed lemonade there. That might be too bright. I'm going to pull it back to scattered straw and then I know where the wood is right. So I'm just going to grab scattered straw. Right. That's better. That looks like a more complimentary cover, colour family. So I'm going to blend these. I'm just going to go in that order. So we're going to go flamingo, pistachio, scattered straw and weathered wood just down the page. So cracked pistachio and scattered straw is going to be in the middle. And they're going to be that sort of lighter, well not lighter, there's going to be less of it because it's going to be in here. And then we'll go all the way down to the bottom. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this super fast because I know you guys have seen me blend plenty of times before. I'm just being reasonably light-handed. I don't want this to be too bright or too strong. I just want it to be a nice kind of blend over this. on this where I haven't sort of gone too over the top with the blending so don't really need to I'm gonna add some extra bits so I'm gonna put some of the topping on the on the top and then I think I'll put some sprinkles in between I'm still I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to put some of these sprinkles sort of just around the place I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to or not you I forgot to do something and I should have done it before I did it so I don't know if this is going to work now, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I've grabbed my correction tape. Just going over the top of my month here. Always happens. Just coming back in with that. I 
was sort of going to get away. There we go. It's going to be okay. So it is going to be lighter, but you, you won't notice it. You, you might notice it, but it won't be by much. I was trying to be really light-handed through most of that. I don't think I was. I think I ended up being a little too heavy-handed, especially with the weathered wood at the bottom. I'm a little worried that that's not quite the right shade, and I should have done something a little bit bluer. But it's not off by too much. It's just off by a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm also very tempted. I'm also very, very, very tempted. And I don't think it's going to work, but I'm just going to try. I just want to cut out around this. I don't want the white of the washi. And that's only because we've done the inking. If I was having the same colour, I just want to see what it looks like. So hold on, let's just do a little, a little bit. Whoops. It's, it's, it will be difficult, it will be a pain in the ass if I'm going to do it, but I think the end result will look really good. So I'm just going around and sort of fussy cutting out these drips. The problem of course is with tape that sticky. It wouldn't be that difficult if it wasn't sticky. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely going to happen. Right. So, <laughs> that's going to be not enough. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. I'll grab it again afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this. This is going to take a bit. I'm going to do it for both sides and stick it down and I'll be right back. Okay, you so don't have to do that, but damn it looks good. Oh, I love that. Love, 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 love. And then I think, I, I, I don't want to put this on the bottom. I was sort of thinking about it, but because of some of them are different directions, I don't want to. I'm just going to hold off on that one. I need to find something to put on the bottom though. I'm just going to keep the stamps out because I may still use those. All right, what have I got? Flowers. No, I don't want to use that. Oh, I'm really tempted to put that checkerboard on the bottom. I'm really, really tempted. Because the ice creams aren't going to be big enough and the music stuff's going to be too small. So, the downside is it doesn't go across both. So, it won't line up no matter what I do. Okay. I'm going to leave the bottom for now and I'll think about it. Maybe instead of putting this, the sprinkles, because I was sort of thinking of putting the sprinkles across here, maybe I'll put just a line of sprinkles at the bottom. Maybe just a line of sprinkles at the bottom. Maybe two lines of sprinkles. Let's see what the two lines of sprinkles looks like. So I'm just using my the line on my um, page to kind of try and keep this straight. It's not the easiest thing to do, but two lines of sprinkles work good. So I've just tried to fuck them up together. I've done a really horrible job. Hold on. I shall try again. Sometimes it's all about where the paper is. You can't really tell. That's the thing. So I'm being pedantic for no particular reason. So I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to cut off the excess and do the other side. Now the downside to using this washi here is that I really can't now continue like use it in the other bits. So what I might do is for the really bad, badly blended spots, because there are some that is not so great, um, I'll find stickers to put over the top of those. That's fine. Alrighty, I'm grabbing the stickers. I'm grabbing the stickers. I know I want, I know I want the days of the week, and I know I want to use the multi-coloured ones, so I'm grabbing them out of the standard kit. So I could have used brown. Brown's the other shade sort of in the actual colour family, I guess is the right word. Um, I didn't want to use brown because I just felt like it was just the wrong, the wrong colour. So that's why I went for blue instead, but it still works. It still works. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. I'm just going to put them straight over the top and then I'm going to use the little dots from here. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. And the good thing is I think I've been clever enough that none of the days line up with the colours, but we'll soon find out. I 
hadn't already have fussy cut out that top washi, what I would have done was cut out these swatches so they looked a little bit more, so they didn't have the, the white around them. I'm not worried about it, I think it looks fine still, but it could have been an extra thing to kind of make it a little bit more something. leaving the bits and pieces as it is because I think I'll cover it up with some stickers. So let's work out what stickers we need. So I need a bunch of date kind of themed stickers. really want to use, I'm thinking about the boxes. I may leave the boxes and use them somewhere else. I want to put those, I want to use some trackers. I have all my boxes here. I don't want to use any of the flowers. I'm going to use some ice creams. I'm not going to use any of the big artwork this month. I just I think this is going to speak for itself a lot. But I do have a lot on. So this is where I'm thinking, okay, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to use some of the post-it notes. So we'll do these first. I knew there was blue here somewhere. This is where I'm going to bring in some of the blue. Put that at the top. Tuesday's got two. We've got doctors. No, it's because of the swatch. So we can use brown, yellow. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So one of them is a very specific time. That's in the afternoon. So I'm going to use the brown. I know I keep moving these off. Thankfully, I don't mind wasting them. Put the brown one in the afternoon because that's the doctor's appointment. And I'm going to put, I've got a time, it's like a time gap. I'll put that over on this side. And that way I've also broken up where I'm putting things. That's everything else. So that's Monday, Thursday. We we'll use pink. So I'll grab that pink one that we had before. I'm actually thinking that's not going to be big enough. We'll wait and see. And then the other one is a bit. Bigger. So I'm going to put this down this side like this because it's a sort of crossing all of the days so that's why we sort of we'll do that. So the bits and pieces I'm going to cover that up with one of these. I was kind of hoping to avoid the flowers so we'll just see. No, we will use the flowers. This is also going to help cover up that really horrible blend that I've got there. Use the yellow daily tracker underneath that for my medicine to make sure I'm doing that. And then for the happy mail, what am I gonna use for my happy mail? I'm just gonna go ahead and write some of these in just so I've got them and I can see what it looks like. Otherwise I'm gonna be a bit confused. I'm just wondering if there's any minis that kind of match some of these. Otherwise I'll grab my Lily and Lion ones. Because there's a mini for sick, but I'm not really sick. I'm just going to the doctor's. Use the Lily and Lion ones. There we go. I'm just going to continue these down and I'll be right back. washi though because it's really really cool so I'm gonna cut the 
could use a washi cutter here as well, but I'm just using scissors because I've got them handy. I didn't cut that very straight, so I'm just fixing that. So I'm going to stick some of these down as well, and then I'm also going to bring in some of the stickers. And I do want some quotes. I need a quote over this side, I think. So I want this one here that says ice cream solves all. And that's when I'll put an ice cream next to that. It's actually not an ice cream, but we get the point. And then grab this little one here that says add sprinkles. And no, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not. Because I do want to put some more of these sort of randomly around the place. So I've got this soda pop one. I'm just trying to cut this as straight as I can. So I'm putting this soda pop at the bottom. Chopped off, I just need to take a little bit more off the side. And then I'll just use the free fries one because I want the other one that goes the other way. It just fits really nicely in there, so we'll do that. And we'll just put a couple more stickers around the place. I want to put a hot dog just here because I want to cover up a little mess that I've got. I'm going to put this ice cream sundae over here. I feel like I need a big sticker. I need something that's bit more ugh, in your face. Put that be the cherry on top. I'm going to grab this little, I'm actually going to grab one of those quotes again. Well, not one of the quotes, but I think there was one that said important or remember or something like that. like before I do it because I'm tempted to play with these sprinkles because I think they're amazing. I think they're amazing. And a little bit of black won't hurt. I don't think. So before I stamp it, oh, I've got to get my stamp block. That helps too. grabbing just a bit of scrap. This is the same bit I was using before. I just feel like it's just missing something, but actually the black might be too dark. No. I feel like if I do it, I have to do it all over the place, and I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm really not happy to do it everywhere. I'm still very tempted to use that for a card using this collection so let me know if you want to see that and I'll use that stamp there instead so just it just needs something I just don't want to use the flower I'm just avoiding the flower I'm gonna move this pie because it now looks like it's in the wrong spot I'm still gonna use it I'm just gonna move it up here and I'm gonna put one of these big actually I'm gonna put two I'm gonna put a single cut a double cone and a single cone and just have them slightly overlapping There's a couple of people who watch my channel who don't like hearts, so I'm really sorry. I just need to put a couple of these around the place. I think that'll help pull this together a bit more. It just feels like it's a little disjointed to me. Just realised I used two cherries, but oh well. Alright, I'm happy now. Oh, no I'm not. One more. I really want to use one of the stamps, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up this cherry. I'm, I'm not using my undo at this point because it will play with the ink and I don't want to do that. I'm just grabbing the cherry. I'll be able to use that again so I'm not worried there. I'm going to grab this little stampy one that says be the cherry on top. Put that there instead. Now I'm not using two cherries. I just realised Wednesday I don't have anything on. It's the only day I don't have anything on next week. Oh, Friday I don't either, but nothing. I'm sure something will come. I'm sure something will come. The only other thing I'm thinking is I really might need a flipper. And this is where the ice 
ice cream comes in handy because I just love this. This is just so pretty. So I'm not going to do it as a big, um, like a hold up the whole side of the page flipper. I just want to do it as a really skinny one. The best thing about now is there's not something on the other side so I can just cut this and I can have it be as wide or as thin as I want it to be. I think I've got stuff everywhere in here. I, think I finally got a chance to craft today. It's been the only day I reckon that I've had an opportunity to do so um, since Little Miss was born and I kind of went a bit crazy which means everything in here is a bit messy. So I'm just cutting a little bit off the bottom. I was going to cut it off the top, but I really like that pink. I'm just going to do one, one more thing that I wasn't going to do. I'm just grabbing, so I'm just grabbing walnut stain. Just grabbing this cone, just the Mr. Whippy soft serve ice cream, bigger block. Nope, bigger block. Doing this as like a tone on tone kind of look, and that's just because I can write straight over the top of it if I want to. Actually, I'm going to go over this side. I want to sit like that, but right there. I, I just can't not use these stamps. They're just too good. I'm actually going to do two. Just. I can. I'm doing those first because then I'm going to grab a sticky note. This is just a um, all over sticky post-it note. And I don't need to do all of this, I just need to do the bottom. So I just cut that off. And this is just making a mask so that I can do the cone behind it. And I'm just, I'm being pretty rough here. I'm not really paying that much attention just need it to be the rough shape so that it, it looks like it's behind it. Go, okay. and then I can put the cone on. I'm just using this to cover up it's just a bit here and I don't want it to hit it. It just so happens that that tear almost looks like, almost looks like it. So now it looks like the cone. Now it looks like the ice cream in the cone, sorry. Oh, that one doesn't look quite as straight, but that's all right. I should have just left it at one. Oh well. Just to kind of put all this together now. I'm going to make it look like there's one coming off. Is it perfect? No, but I can write on the back of it and that's all that it needs to do. I didn't think that out very well. That's alright. Can't be good at everything. Where's my cloth gone? So that is my week using the absolutely stunning, I love this so much, uh, Milk Bar Kit from Planners Anonymous. That seriously just sits on there, that's all it is, and it flips back and forth. It would be really cool, um, you could use the acetate on the top as well just to give you a bit of a, an extra kind of layer. I don't think it needs it, but it would look really cool if that's what you wanted to do. So that's it for this week's video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up thanks for sticking with me through all of the fussy little bits and pieces that I do you guys know I'm a bit crazy and I like to go a little bit all out for planners anonymous um, because I do love their kits so very much I am still a stylist in 2021 and if you do want to jump on board with planners anonymous please use my discount code it is down below you can use that to get 10% off your first box and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos from me using the gorgeous kits also, make sure you head over to the Planners Anonymous blog and you can check out all the projects from the other stylists as well. They blow me away with what they do, seriously. Uh, so make sure you check that out too. Hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome week and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!